Okay, so we all heard the saying that you need to build relationships when you're working on a platform like LinkedIn. So the question then really is, if we need to focus on building relationships on LinkedIn when we want to promote our businesses, our brands, products, services, solutions, how do we do that? Now, it doesn't matter if you want to focus on brand awareness, lead generation, both. Um, the core foundation of all of your activities is around building relationships. But how? Well, I have found a three-step formula that works brilliantly for me and my clients. And the three steps is simple. In building a relationship on LinkedIn, you need to follow the following steps in this sequence. First, you need to connect. Secondly, you need to engage. And third, you need to message them. Now, some people get this wrong and they connect and want to message immediately, um, explaining who they are, what they have, and so on. And this is where they go wrong. So if it's a simple three-step process like this, how do you do that? Well, when you go out to connect, give them a good reason why you want to connect. I normally highlight that they are a good fit for the community that I'm building. But I always, in my connection request, give them two options. We can either connect, but if you're uncomfortable, follow me, get to know me, see my work, and then we can um, look at connecting with, you, with each other. The second step is you do not want to go out and start sending them all sorts of links, invite them to a Zoom meeting, or start promoting your products and services. All you want to do once you've connected with them is you want to send them a welcome message as part of the connect step because you ask them to do something so you want to be courteous and you want to um, acknowledge them for trusting you enough to take the step so in a welcome message we will always go and just say thank you for accepting um, i really appreciate uh, you being part of my community and welcome and that is all i say i just welcome them that takes me then to step two now what we do for one week we engage with them and we engage on their content we do research on them we look at their profiles their websites their other social media channels whatever we can find but we make sure that we start engaging with them through their content, through what they engage on, so that we can, um, one, start establishing this relationship, and two, that we can learn more about them and how we can add most benefit to them. The third step then is easy. This is when you're now reaching out. And by messaging them, you now know who they are. You now know what they're interested in. You know what they have. You can now message them and highlight some of the things that you noticed. You can ask them questions. Why don't you post content on LinkedIn? Um, I saw your post in doing, in saying this, in doing that, in achieving this. How did that work out for you? You need to constantly focus on them. So it is really a simple process. But if you build relationships like this, it's meaningful for both parties. And you're going to get most benefit and value out of the connections and the relationships that you build on LinkedIn. Shall we have some coffee this morning? Thank you for having coffee with me.